Victoria arrives at the home to spend a day observing the family, and Roxy is eager to meet her compatriot. <gasps> Who's here? Who's here? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. 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 That's all right. I'm Jennifer. Hi. I wanted a Fufu dog, one I can put in, one in my purse and carry on a plane, and ended up with an English bulldog. This is Roxy. Hey, Roxy. Roxy has some dog aggression issues and okay. separation anxiety. It's um, starting to rule my life. OK. So this is where I feed Roxy. All right. This is where her food goes. I want you to see that she won't eat unless we're in here with her. Oh, OK. <laughs> as long as we're in here, she'll eat. But I promise you, if we turn around and walk out that door, she's going to follow. Is she? Watch. OK. You have quite a codependent emotional relationship with your dog. And when you feel emotionally stressed, she feels it too. Yeah. Then you've got a dog that doesn't want to eat away from you, wants to follow you everywhere. You'll notice that I moved the bowls up here to the kitchen, taking it out of the laundry room, because I think the laundry room has an unpleasant association, because she's always shut in there. Get in there. You're OK. Either when people are over here with their dogs or when you go out. So following you is more important than staying in there and eating her food, because she doesn't want to be shut in there. And I think that is compromising her eating. What I want to do is I'm going to put some dry food in, and I'm going to put a little bit of wet food, I'm going to leave it in a bowl, and then I want you to walk away. OK. Now, I want to add a little bit of wet. OK. Because this is fantastic wet food. Very, very high quality, no artificial preservatives, flavorings, or colorings. And I just want to add a tiny bit into her food to moisten it up a little bit. You'll find that if you put wet food next to dry food, most dogs will prefer the wet food. OK. So I put a little bit in. Mm -mm. Yeah. We're going to have to do this pretty quickly, because I have a feeling she's going to eat this pretty fast. OK. So I put the wet food in, and I mix it up really well the dry food so she eats both of it because dogs get very good at picking out the wet and leaving the dry so if you mix it up it's gonna be harder for her but I love the dry food you're using okay yeah it's very good high quality we love it okay good girl look at that sitting and waiting bulldog oh beautiful all right I'm gonna put that in good girl I asked Jennifer to leave when Roxy was eating and I'm going to walk away, too. That's crazy. She stayed. She stood at the bottom of the stairs going, hmm, she's not following me. Wow. Look at that. As soon as I moved the bowls to the kitchen, it didn't matter. Roxy ate. didn't matter whether Jennifer left. I was hoping that Roxy would turn around and look at me while she was licking the bowl. Just, just like, give me that eye contact to say, I'm OK, Mom. Stop worrying about me. But she didn't. Roxy ignored me, and I think she found a new place to eat. Oh, was that good? Yeah. For the next few days, Jennifer and Alana will have to carry on alone. Victoria is also leaving Jennifer a confession cam so she can record her progress during the week. I will see you soon. See you soon. All right, Thank goodbye. You. Bye. It's day one without Victoria, and Jennifer and Alana are eager to keep up with the training. Roxy, this is your kind of food. First up, breakfast on the patio. Bowl for me. Hi, Roxy. Here you go. Yay, we can walk away, and she eats all the food. She's going to lick that bowl clean. Now that she's out of the laundry room, Roxy can enjoy her meals without Jennifer by her side. She's a happy dog. Thank you, Victoria. Expert dog trainer Victoria Stillwell is returning to help Jennifer, Alana, and their bulldog, Roxy. Tell me how things have been going for you. 
Things have been going great. I'm so excited to show you about the food. She's eating over there. Remember, we had it here. She has a nice view of the city. And when she's done, she comes in. So it really was that room down there. Definitely. She just didn't want to be shut in there. No, no. 